In Planning Analytics Workspace, dynamic sets include members that are returned when an MDX expression is evaluated. In this video, we'll be modifying a simple MDX expression to return different members to the set. Here, I've opened a view that includes the dynamic set for the model dimension. This set currently returns all leaf members that include the string convertible in their name. I'm going to edit the MDX expression to return all leaf members that include the string wagon in their name. First, I'll click on the model title, and then edit the set. In the Edit Set dialog, I'll click on the Show Set As icon, which is located on the Current Set title. Then I'll click Edit MDX, and this will bring up the Edit MDX dialog. The current MDX expression filters on both member level and name. We want to continue to only see leaf members, so I'll leave the level as zero. But we also want to see members that include the string wagon in their name. So for this, I'll edit the convertible string to wagon. And then I'll click OK. Notice how this set now contains all leaf members in the model dimension that include wagon in their name. Since I'm happy with this MDX expression, I'll click Apply and Close to see the updates in the view. So this was a simple example of editing MDX in the set editor. You can use any supported MDX function to edit or create a dynamic set in Planning Analytics Workspace. For full documentation on standard and TM1-specific MDX functions that are supported, please refer to IBM Knowledge Center.